I've not done it before. Um, I signed up for it because I like the challenge and I've done a little bit of offshore before and I really enjoyed it so I just kind of want to keep pushing and seeing what I can do. I'm not really sure 100% what to expect because all the offshore races I've done so far haven't been very long either because uh, of a retiring or sinking. So I'm looking forward to getting into like a watch system and seeing how I handle it. After a sort of long year of offshore I thought it's the better, best way to end the year and just sort of the excitement of it all. I've never done it, my sister's done it, and I just want to see how it goes. Uh, most looking forward to seeing dolphins. Uh, all the other offshores, I uh, haven't seen any dolphins, but all the other watchers have, so I don't think it's fair. Cool, so we're expecting to see some footage of dolphins. Yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm least looking forward to the lack of sleep. Um, that's the only downside of offshore racing is you have zero sleep um, for pretty much 24 to 48 hours, so I won't ever get to a deep sleep. It will just be two hours, quick rest, back up again, safe the boat. Okay, so this is Team Hooligan. We're just about to dock out and put the orange peel up. So whose first fast net is it? Hey, <laughs> and how many fast nets have you done? 15. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a super quick tour of Hooligan. That's the pointy end. This is non-pointy end. We've got our uh, favorite box here, which is the smack box. And then down below, we have our pipe cots. Many of fights will be had over who is going to sleep on those. Then in the forepeak, we have our very lovely and dignified heads, which you have a very lovely view of the nav station. Hey James, how are you feeling? Oh, lovely. You know, a bit nervous, but uh, really excited. Um, the unlockers are just about to go. Um, and. Um, and yeah, it's a little bit lighter than I thought it was going to be, but it's, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a good ride. You know, all the uh, all the sails ready to go and all that. So yeah, it's going to be good. First fast night, looking forward to it. And yeah, it's going to be fun. There is the enemy, Korea. Same boat, yeah. Same boat different sails and we are ahead. It's currently 40 minutes till our start and the Imica warning signal has just gone. Getting pretty busy out here. Seconds. <laughs> Hello. 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 Just gone through first castle and uh, we've been busy with sail changes. Just heading now past the needles and going to look to go west past the shingles and uh, keep going west. We are just leaving the needles. <laughs> Scallywag. <laughs> Scallywag and Scotch are just past us. We are on our way out. Navigator is happy. Going well. Currently just going past the needles, one hour into the race. We're now three and a half hours into the race. We've gone further north than most of the fleet. So you're close to the land. And uh, got phosphorus inside of us still. But, and set away in front somewhere. But uh, yeah, still, um, still doing well. Food is in the oven. What's for food, cat? Yeah. Chicken and pesto pasta with cheese, with cheese on top, except for Ben. <laughs> We're going well. Going to go into our watch system at six, so another hour and a half before I get some sleep. We are currently sailing along rather nicely. Currently going nine knots with the A2 and the SS up. We're about halfway along the coast to Portland, which is over there and Curia are along there somewhere and they are in our sights. It's been an interesting start to the uh, 2019 Rolex Fastnet race this year. A downwind start with sailors uh, able to push the boats quite hard to the west fairly rapidly this year. Uh, most boats uh, now well uh, south and, and definitely even west of Portland Bill 
um, some of the faster boats in IRC Zero currently approaching start point which is uh, just over the hill behind me. Um, it's been uh, a challenging night is going to be uh, facing the sailors as the breeze is going to be switching from this easterly breeze that is uh, accelerating them to the west very rapidly and they're going to have to be pushing into a, uh, a light and then building westerly and southwesterly breeze. So decisions to be made at the moment are whether to push south and try and get a better angle from the other side or whether to push north and west uh, to get through the breeze as fast as possible to get into the breeze early and then come out the other side fast or to try and get a better angle when you get out the other side um, all of our boats seem to be doing pretty well at the moment we've got lots of sailors across the fleet um, Sunrise uh, which has got a couple of uh, BK alumni on board currently leading their class Galavanter um, and Hooligan uh, almost neck and neck across the racetrack um, uh, another Car 40, um, Coronimo, uh, win that pack as well. So incredibly fast sailing um, for now. It's going to get quiet tonight. Um, it'll be interesting as the breeze switches over. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see uh, what happens when the sun comes up tomorrow, where everyone's ended up. Looking forward to it.